Hello Overclockers, I'm 8pack, the resident professional overclocker here at Overclockers UK. Each year around this time, for Computex, we bring a new revolutionary state-of-the-art system that's going to absolutely smash everything else on the market. For last year's show, we produced the Dominate, which redefined everything in the power performance benchmark. This year, I have a new system behind me here. This is the Supernova Mark III. And again, it's designed to absolutely smash the competition in all benchmarking and all applications. Here on this video, I'm gonna tell you the top eight things about the system behind me. So, that being said, let's get into it. Okay, point one. The one CPU to rule them all. And that's the 7995 WX CPU by AMD. Now this mammoth CPU gives you 96 cores of performance with a possibility of 192 threads. It can run AVX2 and AVX512, no problem. Here, obviously, we're water cooling it and we're overclocking it. And that can smash every single workload, such as rendering, AI, simulation, and blah, blah, blah. Point two. And point two is motherboard and memory. For the ultimate CPU, we have the ultimate motherboard. And this motherboard is no exception to the rule. We've got Asus WRX90 Sage motherboard, which supports up to seven GPUs, has onboard BMC for remote management and crazy power delivery. So you can extract the best out of the hardware that you place in it. Plus all that, it's got built-in overclocking and manual overclocking too, which we'll get into a bit later. So it's a very solid platform in terms of power delivery and function. The memory we're using in here is 512 gig of Kingston 5600 megahertz RDIM, which is absolutely ultra rock stable and operating at nice cool temperatures even when you stress it. Now obviously that kind of capacity is gonna be able to handle pretty much any task and 5600 megahertz in octo channel configuration gives you a huge amount of bandwidth. Other options for memory on this uh, particular platform is you can go all the way up to four terabytes if you wish or streaming it down, you can go for something like 128 gig at 6,000 megahertz, should you require that kind of option. Point three, speaking of seven PCI Express slots and a load of lanes on that CPU, we're gonna fill it all up. And for that, we've got seven 4090s by NVIDIA. These GPUs can literally churn through absolutely any rendering, AI, or simulation task you throw at them. And obviously, they give you an absolute mammoth amount of VRAM, should you wanna use it. So, on this particular system, that's where a huge chunk of your cache is going. Point four. Point four is overclocking. And we wouldn't be overclockers UK if we're not doing some overclocking. And this CPU has loads of headroom. So, we're taking all 96 cores and pushing them to 4.5 gigahertz across every single core for every single workload, no matter what you throw at it. And this boosts the performance of a stock to a remarkable 45%, which is pretty damn good. On the GPUs, we're doing something similar. We're pushing up the core of the GPUs to just short 3000 megahertz on all seven. And we're pushing each card to plus 400 or plus 500 on the memory, depending on what's available within the card. So all that overclocking gives you a lot more productivity in your tasks, whatever you're doing. Point five, and that's power. Now all that overclocking is gonna need some serious power. And in this machine, we've got a lot of it. We've got two 1600 watt ROG4 titaniums and an additional SFX, which is an 850 watt unit. So that's crazy power, well over 4,000 watts. With the PSUs, we haven't done anything by half measures either. We've given them all their own custom cables, especially made for us by Cable Mod, just to give it that really crisp finishing touch. Point six is the rad cooling. And speaking of rads, this system's got three of them. It's got a 480 in the front, it's got a 480 in the bottom, and it's got a 420 in the top. And of course, you need all this radiator space to exhaust all this massive power. Also in terms of cooling, we've got dual pump arrangement, Y2 pumps. Well, that equalizes the pressure of the fluid throughout the system, and also leads to redundancy if there's ever a problem with the pump. We've got uh, specifically made customized distro plates for this unit, both in polished aluminium here in the base, here in the top, which are totally custom. You ain't getting this off the shelf. We've got specifically designed GPU blocks and CPU blocks by Nexilus, which of course are single slot to allow us to fit this amount of cards into the system. And the CPU block is unique as it has two inlets 
two outlets for better flow and better temperatures. Finally, all the uh, GPUs and the CPU are all on quick connects, which means that maintenance for the system and upgradability can be done in literally seconds. Point seven, and I hope you're remembering all this because this system can remember everything. It's got two four terabyte NVMe drives in there as standard. There's a Western Digital SN850Xs, and it's also got two eight terabyte SSDs. That's enough storage for pretty much everyone. But should you want to add more, give us a call. We'll customize it. Finally, point eight. Point eight is this massive Lian Li V3000 Plus case that we've got here. It's polished aluminium, looks really sleek and really professional. Obviously, in general, we're not going to put RGB on this, but for launch, we've had to add a little bit of white just so you can see it. So in terms of customization, as you can see here, we've got our logos, 8-pack, render, Asus, oh, and overclockers. But you can have anything up there. And indeed, you can have anything throughout the system. So we can change, if you wish, the color of the cables, the color of the braided tubing, uh, and indeed, of course, this bread you can get in pretty much anything. So we can switch out uh, the colors all around, the color of the fittings as well, up to a point. I mean, quick connects, they don't come in many colors other than black and silver. So I'd probably keep them black or silver. Okay, finally. The 8-pack range is about extreme performance, extreme overclocking, and some cool, crazy look. And my Supernova Mark III doesn't disappoint on any level. If you want to follow more about the Supernova Mark III, or even get your wallets out and buy one, check out the link in the description below, as it'll be listed on Overclocker's website. Finally, as always, don't like the video? Don't subscribe to our channels, but do check out my seven pack of GPUs here. Oh, and one interesting fact. This system weighs 70 kilos, maybe even a bit more, but don't worry, I can rep it easy.